Hello, this is Chris Menard. Today I have five quick tips on using Microsoft OneNote and Microsoft Outlook. They play really well together. A couple of these I've covered in the past couple weeks, but they're worth repeating. So tip number one, I have OneNote running. I'm in my notebook called Clients. As you can see, I have multiple notebooks. I've got some sections I created across the top here. I'm on the section for Microsoft and I only have one page. I have a meeting coming up, so meeting details. It's looking in my Outlook calendar right now. There's the meeting I have today. I click it and it pulls it into OneNote. So then after I do this, I can actually make some notes in here. And I can email the page back. So I pulled the meeting from Outlook into OneNote. I made some notes and I can email the page. If you notice, I'm the meeting organizer and I have three other people. But when I click on email page, Outlook immediately pops up. There are the email addresses across the top, along with all the meeting notes down in the body. So I've showed both of those before. So that was two tips. Tip number three is a great one. Notice I only have, for the Microsoft section, one page. I'm going to pop back into Outlook now. I'm going to go to my inbox. I'm going to select several email messages. So I've got four email messages picked. I want to point out one of those emails at the top has attachments. You can see the attachment icon. I need to put those in OneNote because they deal with Microsoft. So I'm going to go to OneNote up on the ribbon. OneNote will immediately pop up and say, where do you want to put these? It has recent picks here. If you didn't see where you wanted to put it up here, Again, there are my notebooks down below. I can just go find the notebook. I'll go this way. Four emails. Already have one page called Microsoft Meeting. I should end up with five pages when I'm done. Click OK. Good. So I just threw some emails from Outlook over into OneNote. What I do in a test. The one email that I said has attachments, one was a JPEG, that's correct. That looks good. And one was an Excel file. I'm not going to click it, but trust me, it'll open up. And it has the information from the email. So that's really nice. Another tip. Let's say I am working here. I'm going to go back to the meeting. Let's say during this meeting, I'm asked to do something and it is work, prepare the marketing report for 2021. I can easily make that a to-do in OneNote, but what I want to do so I get a reminder is send this to Microsoft Outlook tasks. So just to show you this one, I'm going to test this one. Back in Outlook. I'm in my inbox. Let's go to task. I intentionally cleared them all out. I have no task in here. I'm going to simply click this. I don't even have to select it. I'm on this line. Outlook task. I need to work on this today. There are the different options. I'm going to hit today. Puts the flag here in OneNote. There it is in Microsoft Outlook marketing report for 2021. So I went from an Outlook, sorry, I went from a OneNote task and I threw it into Outlook. So now I could go set a reminder if I wanted to. And so we've done, I pulled in the meeting, I inserted the meeting. I added a task to Outlook. I emailed the page earlier. I pulled emails from Outlook into OneNote. One more. This actually has not an Outlook trick with OneNote. It's Microsoft Office Excel. It could be Word. It could be PowerPoint. I already have this running. So I have this Excel file running. I need to send this to my OneNote notebook. File. Print. 
and your print options is send to OneNote 2016. I hit print. It did a pop under, it's underneath there, so there it is. Where do you want to put it? I want to put it under Microsoft, Clients, hit OK. One more new page is just added. It got added as a new page, it's called Printout. I could obviously change the name. We're changing the name up here. Is changing it over there to the right, if you notice. I'm on camera, over there to the right. Anyway, that's it. I'm done for the day. Got to go to work. Have a great day. Thank you for your time. Subscribe to my YouTube channel.